When you are working with the Kaleidoscope Pro Viewer window, you might come across a sound you'd like to export as a separate WAV file. But you can do more than just export a section of audio. Let's take a look. Here I see a variety of species in the same piece of audio. If I play this segment back, the lower frequency species is the most dominant. There's also a fair amount of low frequency ambient noise. So although I can see there is a higher frequency sound happening, I can't really hear it because it's masked by the other sounds. I'll create a bandpass filter to isolate the higher frequency sound. I'll draw a selection box around the sound I want to examine. Now I don't hear the low frequency ambience or the lower frequency species, but the higher frequency sound is still very faint. So I'll increase the gain of the signal. Now the higher frequency sound has been isolated and is much more clear. Now I am ready to export this isolated signal. I'll go to the Viewer File menu and choose Save Wave. A window appears which shows the edits I've made. The selected time range is specified along with the bandpass filter and the gain adjustment. Yes, these are the edits I want for this signal, so I click OK. I can specify the name of the exported file and the save location. Done. I'll open the exported WAV file in the viewer and you can see the effect of the bandpass filter, gain adjustment, and time selection. Now let's take a look at a recording of bats. If I zoom in so I get a good view of the call shape, I only see a single call because of the close zoom level. So I'll switch to compressed view which removes the silence between the calls. This allows me to see more than one call at this zoom level. I also want to hear the bat call, so I'll slow the playback speed down. I'll go to the File menu and choose Save Wave. Again, I get a window that tells me I've edited the view by putting it into compressed mode. This is important to know because if I save a WAV file in compressed mode, the saved file will not be a real-time representation of the multiple calls. That's why this window is reminding me of the edit I've made. I haven't made a selection, so the time range is what is displayed in the viewer. I haven't used a bandpass filter, so that's not mentioned. But since I have slowed the playback speed down, that is also mentioned in the window. Now when I save, I have a WAV file that represents the slowed down, compressed view of what was displayed in the viewer window. I find it useful that Kaleidoscope Pro is reminding me of the edits I've made so I can be sure the WAV file I save is exactly what I want to save. When I open the saved file, I can play back with no compression or speed change and I hear exactly what I created with my edits. Thank you for watching.